Hello, this is Eggnog. First of all, I'd like to apologize. The audio uh, and the recording for this video, well, it just didn't work. I am still not quite sure why, but I didn't get any audio. Um, so I'll have to just talk over the whole thing. Maybe it would have just been better to not share it. But, uh, oh my goodness, it was beautiful footage. Um, I don't fly biplanes very often, <laughs> let alone triplanes. Uh, and today's dogfight diary takes place in a SOP with triplane. Uh, this was a mission that was ran on Combat Box. It was put together by um, the 332's very own Echo. Nice work, Echo. Started off very dark. Uh, it was real early, uh, and I was alone. It was, was a little bit of a scattered spawn, a couple different uh, airfields, but uh, uh, kicked in the engine, took off, and uh, tur turned around a few times, loop circling over the field to see if anybody else was taking off with me, but ultimately we agreed that I would just fly north to link up with everyone. We also agreed to, to punch through the clouds uh, and, and basically uh, meet up over the clouds. Well, my goodness. The clouds were uh, tall, and my biplane is small and uh, not that fast. Uh, I was stuck in those clouds for probably five minutes before I finally punched through and uh, and got got through. Uh, but man, what a view when I got up there. Uh, pretty quickly spotted my um, buddies and linked up, and we, and we started flying out to Target. And man, I mean, just beautiful view after beautiful view, watching the uh, bristles all around me as we kind of we wove between these uh, just towering clouds I don't think we ever got all the way over them we just kind of flew through the columns uh, as the Sun came up and I know this is a game <laughs> but man this was just it was it was literally stunning as we flew it wasn't too long before we spotted somebody uh, he was way over top of us uh, and we were able to identify him as a German he uh, dove down and started uh, attacking some of our guys um, probably a bad idea energy retention in, in biplanes is not what it is in World War II planes so we caught him and actually I was the one who managed to, to shoot him down didn't really get a good view of it happened after I hit him his wing fell off uh, my teammates yelled at me but so we kept flying um, resumed the, the sunrise safari <laughs> I don't know what else to call it it was really something uh, eventually found a, a larger group of German planes on the other side of the uh, of the no man's land got into a scrape with them um, remember taking some some shots at guys early on so lots of just you know hard turn fighting I uh, can't remember if I ended up shooting anyone down or not I do remember getting one on my six at one point uh, he landed some hits on me which was bad news I kept turning and I actually managed to get away from him um, and I think it was cue ball in one of the Bristols uh, that basically chased the um, enemy off of my six so I got away came back though and got into another turn fight pulled a little too hard for my damaged wings and just all all I guess six of my wings uh, just fell off uh, simultaneously and I proceeded to um, uh, fall to my death. Uh, I bailed, but <laughs> the the Entente uh, pilots do not have parachutes. Brilliant uh, thinking on their part. Uh, so yeah, this was uh, the, the, my final moment uh, in this sortie, but I, like I said, just overall gorgeous. I don't fly biplanes or triplanes um, enough, um, so maybe I'll do a little bit more of that, but wanted to share at least the footage that I had from, from this uh, incredible flight.